Beyond Beans and Weenies. I'm Sue Hansen. I'm Janet Rowan. Cleaning, cleaning up the kitchen. <laughs> cleaning up the kitchen. Are you ready? Um, we're going to do a dish today that you could do with just regular chicken and making your stuffing or leftover turkey and stuffing. Are you going to have some leftover turkey? I probably will. Mm -hmm. And a little stuffing too. So we're going to start with the traditional recipe calls for four to six chicken breasts in the crock pot. And then Sue's going to mix a box of the dry stuffing. And I see we're using the... Mm -hmm. It's already got the stuff in it. I think the seasoning, yeah, it's already in there. And uh, we're going to add a cup of broccoli okay. and a can of uh, cream of broccoli cheese soup and maybe about a quarter to a half a cup of bouillon, depending on how moist you want it. Bouillon. bouillon. But if you have already got your dressing made and you're just using leftover, then just skip the bouillon because it's moist enough. And I guess we could, you could skip the, this cheese soup. I mean, could you? Well, that's what makes it. Okay. Yeah. You could. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> so I'm going to put, <clears throat> excuse me. It smells good. I'm going to put in about four to six chicken breasts. But you could use leftover turkey. You just wouldn't want to cook it as long because the turkey's already done. There's nothing like a noisy chicken breast. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, good grief. I laugh at those, but okay. So now we're just going to lay that That's over. It. It's just that easy. Do you want a big spoon? Man, that was really easy. Mm -hmm. Good, look at you. You're more to that? the camera. See that? It's only taken me nine years to do that. <laughs> I'm a slow learner. Yeah. Actually, I, I found my old talk about getting rid of stuff, which mm -hmm. is a good thing for you to talk about. Is I went through, it was going through, I said, I'm a hoarder. I think I'm just two steps away from one of those TV shows. Look at her, she got to her house and she is. <laughs> my, um, I think my husband said he, that when I die, he just, he's going to have to go through all these like margarine tubs and stuff. Anyway, I got off track. Um, Speaking of that, did you hear about the woman who died in her house? She was a hoarder and they didn't know and they couldn't find her for several weeks. Swear to God. She was under her stuff, and the husband couldn't find her. He thought she was missing. You'd think you could smell. Now that's, you would think. I know. Well, maybe it already smelled really bad. Well, it would have to. Hey, you forgot, I forgot what I was going to say. We were talking about getting rid of stuff. Wow, this is a problem. It is. We have to focus. But the okay. thing is, the hardest part is that you, you have an attachment to the stuff. So you bring a friend with you, and you have them say, Janet, that's a bunch of crap. Throw it away. You're never going to wear that. That's again. what I was going to tell you now. Mm -hmm. Thank you for telling me. Right. That's a bunch of crap. <laughs> I was looking at my, my, in elementary school, I've saved my test scores that talk about, I am oh, so yes. freaking average. I'm like, everything I'm average, everything's average, there's nothing. You are so no not average, anything. But seriously, I mean, it was, I threw it away. Yeah, well, I don't want to know that. I never saved mine to begin with. You don't want to so thanks anything. again for joining us, yeah. and have a great Thanksgiving. Oh, that was last oh, that Thursday. Was last that's Thursday. okay. okay. <laughs> I have, a, I have a, another one next year. <laughs> okay, bye. bye.